How are you doing everyone? And welcome to the Learner Driver Classroom. My name is Anthony from ADM Driving School and in today's video we're going to be talking about turning left. Alright, so in your lessons and in your test, once you hear the direction you're turning left or right, whether you're emerging from a T-junction or whether you're doing a roundabout or a mini roundabout, this is when we start applying the mirror, signal, position, slow and look. Alright, so MSPSL. Another way of saying that would be MSMM and that's mirror, signal, mirror, maneuver. Both of them are the same and this is the one I like to use. Alright, so when in the test or in your lessons, once you hear left, that's when you have to apply these steps. If you do these steps one after the other, by the time you get to the turn, everything should be nice and easy. Usually what I find when people hear the direction and they're still driving up, and then at the last minute they try to go signal, clutch in, change, that's when it's messy here. All right, so once you hear it, it's show time. That's when you apply the steps one after another. So for turning left, you're gonna go inside mirror and left mirror, so mirror, mirror. Once you've done that, that's when we signal to the left or indicate to the left. Once you've done that, that's when we need to position our car in a bit into the left. All right, very importantly, once you're in, it's straight up to the turn. All right, we never come back out on ourselves and definitely never come in at an angle, all right? Always as straight as you can up to the turn. I can't stress that enough, all right? And once you're in position, that's when we slow. So a lot of the time I always see people, once they're in position, they clutch in and then they start to slow the brake and they're trying to change the gear and they're going way too fast. Another way of doing it, the correct way of doing that would be, right, I'm in position, now I have to slow. So you have to try to think yourself, brake forced. You're always on the brake forced. That's how we slow the car down. We're in position, we're nice and straight, and we're on the brake. Only when you're going slow enough, that's when you clutch in, you come into second, and very importantly, off the clutch. While you're doing that, you're still controlling the speed with the brake. So you're in position, you're on the brake, you come into second, you're off the clutch while you're on the brake, and we're holding it nice and straight, and L for look. So if I turn on left, I always say, we have a quick look in the left mirror because there could be a cyclist coming up the inside, so a quick look in the mirror, and that's when we steer, all right? Now your position, we always steer, when the front of your car gets to where the curb sort of bends. And we always try to pull and push. And your position needs to be in. Never out wide, because that's where these cars are. So once your position is in, that's when we look. We have to look up to the left, all right? Very important we do it like that. I always say position in and then eyes up. A lot of times I see people trying to do it the opposite way, right? Before the curb bends, they're trying to look around the corner like that. It's really hard to steer when you're doing that. So I always say steer force, once you're in, then eyes up, look up this direction, all right? As well, a lot of times I also see as well, uh, when people are up here, they're just about to steer and they take a big look out to the right and try to turn down here. Very hard to do that. I wouldn't be able to do that myself. So once you're positioned, left mirror, steer, and then looking up to the left. All right. If when you look, there's no, the road here is clear, there's no cars parked on the left, or there's no pedestrians crossing the road, we just continue on, and we keep our good road position in on the left, nice and straight. So now we're gonna be talking about turning left, but this time when our position is in, and we look, this time we see a parked car here on the left, all right? So, when you see this, it's very important that you don't come in behind the car, all right? So what you do is, you keep your position the same, your position is in, 
a lot of times I see people seeing the car from here and saying, right, there's a car there, I'm going to take it wild. We still don't need to do that. We still keep our position as in, we see the car, but from here we come straight out this way. No need to indicate right around the car, there's no need. Uh, we just get straight out and then straight past the car. Try not be coming out at it diagonally. Once you get to the car, we always want to be driving straight past. And this little fin here is a door. So remember from your theory test, the correct clearance from a parked car is you're trying to keep a door's width. So that's it, that's a uh, turn and left, all right? So try go over this, watch this video a few times. Also try watch it with your sponsor as well, because although your sponsor does mean well, they might exactly know what to look out for, so they don't exactly know how to help you. So watch the video a few times before you go out driving. And also, if you like the video and you learn something from it, uh, please like it and also subscribe to the channel. I'll be launching a new video at least once a week. If it's only once a week, I'll be doing one every Thursday. All right? So if you subscribe, you'll be updated with all the videos. Also, if you have any questions, put it in the comment section below and also videos that you might like to see. Now, I have a lot of content that I will be doing, so I have a lot of days coming up, but just if you have any you want me to cover, put it in the comment section below. All right, so look at best of luck, and I'll see you in the next video.